hello welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing like an overview of my um key holder um this is the six ring key holder and i have been using it for almost a year so it has a little bit of i guess wear and tear already um but honestly do i think it's worth it mm, i don't know at this point because i have been kind of like working around with it and I'm still not sure how I feel, but I do use it um, every day. I've used it since I got it for almost a year. I want to hear your thoughts on what do you think of the six ring key holder. I want to know if you guys have it, if you stopped using it, if you use it 24 seven. Um, but also don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I have been really out of the blue, out of YouTube for, I don't know, like a month. No, I'm not gonna say a month. I'm gonna say like for two months. Um, it's just been hectic with the baby, with work. So first of all, I have like a little pros and cons. The pros is that I do get easy access to the keys. I don't have to be kind of like messing around with things getting stuck, cause I know with my other keys, um, like my keys would just fall and then something would fall on, on top of them so it would be really hard to, to get them out so with this one i can easily get them out of my bag so another pro is that i feel like not considering these outside but i feel like it takes more care of your keys for example i do have a fob and um, I know that if you drop these they can like get damaged or whatever so it does protect it I also use it um, another pro that I you I do use it for like if I just need what is this like coupon um, but I do put like my driver's license and my credit card if I need something like really fast and I don't want to carry a purse or a bag that's like really um, easy to get also I do use this kind of like not the way it's intended to be used but I do use this um, only three and then I do have like five keys on them so it's kind of like defeats the purpose of having all the little hooks but it's just a way of getting them organized I do have for example these are my mom keys so then um, I know these are together and then these are my separate keys so I know these two go together so I that's how I don't get them mixed up um, also I do put this um, little keychain that it's supposed to be like this let me see so kind of like this and then I can just carry it like a normal keychain um, instead of having to carrying it like this um, for me this is the way that it works for me I do see a lot of wear and tear on the button it's I would say almost like really tarnished as you can see right there I do I don't really baby this so that's why it looks like this considering the glazing I think it looks still perfect after one year use yeah and but you can also see if I turn it on this angle it will have like creases but honestly that's pretty much from wear and tear I don't think there's a specific um, reason why they are like this but it does have wear and tear um, I don't really open this so I wouldn't say that it's because I do this I usually do this to open it so I I'm really not sure why it looks like that um, but I am able to fit a key fob well, I do kind of like position this so that way I'm able to open and lock my car but to be honest this is not that practical because sometimes this happens and then I have to be finagling it to get it out and then do this um, in order to open these you have to press down on one side and then like push it out let me see like this and then this is how you insert your little hooks 
at first it was really hard but after a while you get used to it and then so I do lift this one up like this and I'm starting to see it's not wanting to focus but there's a wear and tear right here because I do do that so I'm pretty sure that's because of that honestly I do this because it's more practical for me to open my house like this honestly thinking about it right now and saying all like the things or how I use it honestly to me I don't think it is worth it especially for what it is maybe if it was a smaller one like the four key holder um, the four ring maybe that's a little bit smaller so it would be a little more I guess practical because I do feel that this is a little bit bulky especially with the key fob which obviously it's gonna be bulky but this itself is a little bit bulky compared to my Victorian wallet it's kind of like the same size almost I would say just a tad difference uh, I don't know why it's not focusing okay um, just a little tad difference so I think it is a little bit bulky. That's one of my uh, cons. Um, also the con is that you have to be opening it, opening it and closing it every time you would get something from here. Another con would be actually like, I would say the price because it's actually just a key holder and it's over, I think 300. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I didn't have this keychain that I use it to wrap around my my wrist, then I would say it wouldn't be as convenient as it is just because I would have to be carrying this like a wallet plus my wallet if I don't have a purse. Um, another con is that when I throw this in my purse, I sometimes get confused which one is my Victorine wallet and which one is um, this key holder so it is kind of like the same um, thickness and everything so I do get confused another con is that if you don't have these little rings and I put these in for a reason as well is that when you try to get the key and you try to open something um, which is kind of really hard to show here but if you get the key and you open something it's gonna be like this so it can be hard to turn the key around and then especially if the door um, the door frame is here and then the the knob is right here it's kind of like a little bit cumbersome so I do add this like ring extender to help me turn um, be more accessible, be more easy to work with instead of having them like this. So that's another con if you don't have these. Another con that I just remember is that sometimes, and I don't know how, but sometimes my key fob falls off. Um, I don't know if it's because this little hook is already really, yeah, I think it's already, it's like very not that strong. It has happened to me around like twice that my key fob falls down and then I'm like, oh no, but I hear it when, I, when it falls. So that also defeats the purpose of protecting it. Um, overall, I think it's not worth it, but I did get it mostly for the aesthetics to be honest um, because it looks really cute and also I wanted to protect my other SLGs from my keys but I mean after using it for a year I think that it's honestly not worth it well I still use it of course because I have it but if I had the chance to go back in time and purchase or not purchase this I honestly think I wouldn't I don't know. I don't want to see your thoughts. Do you guys own um, the six ring key holder? Do you guys use it? Did you stop using it? Anyways, I think this is it for this video. I just wanted to do a little quick video on what I thought, the wear and tear. 
and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye